In this video, we will look at installing ESXi 5 in a virtual machine running on the VMware Fusion virtualization platform. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base article 2009580. To install ESXi 5 in a virtual machine within VMware Fusion, you will first need to download the ESXi 5 ISO image from the VMware Download Center on the VMware website. To save time in this demonstration, I have already downloaded the ESXi 5 ISO image to my machine and is placed in the Downloads folder. Launch VMware Fusion and click on File and then New. Click on Continue Without Disk and then select Choose a Disk or Disk Image. Select the ESXi ISO image you downloaded and then click Open. Click Continue. For the operating system, select VMware ESX. For the version, select VMware ESXi 5 and then click Continue. Before proceeding further, it would probably be best to review the default virtual machine settings. And if you are not happy with them, you can click on the Customize Settings button to make adjustments such as switching to bridged networking or increasing the RAM, CPU or disk space allocations. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will stick with the default virtual machine settings and will progress through the virtual machine creation wizard. Click Finish and give the virtual machine a name and specify where you want to save the virtual machine files. Click Save to proceed. When the ESXi 5 installation starts, choose the standard installer or wait 5 seconds for the automatic boot to commence. It will take a minute or two for the ESXi installer to load all of the files necessary for the installation. When macOS prompts you for an administrator's username and password, provide your administrator account details and click OK. This allows the virtual machine to run in promiscuous mode, which is required for the network settings to function correctly. After a further minute or so, you should see the ESXi 5 welcome installation screen being displayed. Press enter to continue. On the End User License Agreement, or EULA screen, press the F11 key while holding down the Function, or FN, key in order to accept and continue. If you have enabled the option on your Mac to use the Function keys as standard Function keys, press the F11 key without holding down the Function key. If the key presses do not register in the ESXi guest, press the control plus the command keys to release the mouse from the guest and then go to virtual machine send key F11. Next you should see that the ESXi installer scans for available devices which should not take that long. Select the virtual drive where you want to install and press enter to continue. If you opted to create the virtual machine using the default settings, then there should be only one disk displayed here anyway. Select your desired keyboard layout and hit enter to progress through the installation. Provide a root password. Press the down arrow key and then type the password again to confirm. Press enter to continue. You should see that the installer begins to scan for additional system information and then you will see a hardware virtualization warning appear. This message is expected so you can just hit enter to continue. Confirm that the information on the screen is correct. Then press the F11 key while holding down the function or FN key in order to start the installation. Again the same guidelines as mentioned earlier applies here as well. The installation will take a few minutes to complete, so for the sake of time, 
I will cut out some of the process. When the installation is complete, press the Enter key to reboot. After the ESXi guest loads after the reboot, it will start with an IP address assigned from the Fusion DHCP server. To set a static IP address, press the F2 key while holding down the function or FN key. Same guidelines as mentioned earlier also apply here. Type the password that you set for the root user and press enter. Select configure management network and then hit enter. Select IP configuration then press enter. Select set static IP addresses and network configuration then press the spacebar. Press the down arrow key to select the IP address field. Then enter the desired IP address details. If you need to set the subnet or default gateway, press the down arrow key to select those fields. Hit the enter key when you are finished adjusting the settings. Press the escape key to exit the configuration screen. When you are prompted to restart the management network for the changes to take effect, press the Y key. Hit the escape key again in order to go back to the main screen. This concludes our look at installing ESXi 5 in a virtual machine on the VMware Fusion virtualization platform. For further tutorial videos, check out the VMware KBTV YouTube channel at the following URL. Thank you for choosing VMware.